Ladies and gentlemen, it is Thursday the 20th of August and Mojang just released another new snapshot for Minecraft 1.9 called 15W34B. This snapshot contains both bug fixes and some new features, both to combat and to command blocks. Let's dive right in. In the previous snapshot we got changes for how maps are handled, but also new map bugs with player markers not appearing on maps. That bug is now fixed. We also had a new interesting bug where giants would not render a model, and that is also now fixed. Giants have not been removed from the game, they are back in action. There is also new combat mechanics, this is after all the combat update. First of all, we got damage indicators. Now when you hit an enemy, be it a player or a mob, you get damage heart indicators popping up as particles from their body. They look like black hearts and the amount you get shows you how much damage you inflicted. Another change to combat is that armor now degrades its effectiveness with its durability. Which means that damaged armor offer worse protection than brand new armor. It seems to be buggy as of yet, but it's a mechanic that will probably be tweaked and is here to stay. Finally, there is now an attribute for items to determine the attack speed. So if you really like the old click spam way of Minecraft PvP, then you can have it back if you set that attribute on your sword. As for command box, there's two new features. One is in the interface itself, and it is tab completion. Something I think probably anybody who's ever touched a command block wanted. So that is much, much appreciated. The other thing is a new button that switches a command block between unconditional and conditional mode. In conditional mode, command blocks would only execute the command if the command block that is directly behind them, that is towards the side away from the arrows or on the side with the square. If that command block has succeeded, when it's last executed its command, then the conditional command block will also run. Keep in mind that it is the command block straight backwards, not, in the case of chained command block, the previous executed command block. And this is represented as a new data tag for command blocks called conditional, and if you do set that with a block data command, then you can remotely make a command block update despite not causing a block update. So that I'm sure that we can find very clever ways of abusing for our benefit. Something also does seem to have changed in either this snapshot or yesterday's with the chunk generation, the world generation, which is behaving extremely oddly here. It does fill in, but it doesn't generate the chunks in close to far order anymore. Do note that many of these new features are considered very early in development, and are not balanced at all. So what you're seeing is a very early preview of what might become Minecraft 1.9. Mojang is still looking for feedback from the community, so instead of getting very upset about your favorite combat mechanic being changed, I suggest you just head over and give them some feedback. As usual, this is a snapshot, which means it's an experimental development version. Snapshots are expected to be buggy, and can even be dangerous to run. If you try out this snapshot, then do so on a test world or on a world with a backup. If you do want to run this snapshot, then head into your Minecraft launcher, make a new profile, check the Enable Experimental Development Versions checkbox, save it and start the game. Then you will be playing the latest snapshot version, which right now, this is this one. If you want to know more about recent changes to the snapshots, then click the card on the screen right now. It will take you to a Minecraft news playlist of all the recent snapshot news. I should also take this opportunity to tell you that if there is a snapshot tomorrow, that is Friday the 21st, which is not unlikely at all, then I will most likely not be able to make a snapshot video about that one until Sunday evening at the earliest, since I will be leaving town and I won't have access to neither my equipment nor a reliable internet connection, so you may have to wait for that snapshot video for a bit or go find it from somebody else. I know many other YouTubers don't make snapshot videos for the B and C snapshots, but there are some and for instance Isuma is pretty reliable on putting out snapshot videos for every single snapshot. I will see if there's a way that I can somehow get a snapshot video out, but don't count on it. 
And with that said, thank you for watching this one. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please do hit that like button, that really helps me out. And if you want to see more Snapshot videos in the future to keep yourself informed of everything that happens in Minecraft Snapshots, then feel free to subscribe. My name is Slice Lime. thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.